Have you ever wrestled with your dog and ended up getting a hard on? That was a strange day at the park. <laughs> My poor dog <laughs> embarrassed around all their all of her friends. Just kind of uh, looking at me strange like she was ready to go. So she walked back into the leash there. <laughs> and uh, I could tell she looked back for that look in her eye. What the fuck are you looking at? Don't be rubbing on me. Starting to act like a fucking chihuahua at home. <laughs> it's kind of thinned out, but anybody in here dating right now? Anybody out here on a date? Woo! <laughs> yeah, one guy, one guy. <laughs> I remember... I remember my uh, my first, well, not my first date, but uh, one of my dates that uh, was very memorable. And uh, when you guys go out on a date, I know that the first thing in your mind is, I'm hoping I get some pussy tonight. Because guys are pigs. We're, we're, we're pigs like that. I know we are. Because I'm one. And uh, I've been working hard all day that day, and I, I I couldn't wait to get off and go on this day. I was going to the movies, and maybe get some dinner, and maybe head back to her place, and uh, I was going to get some that night I was open. And uh, got off work, and I went home, and I got all cleaned up for this date, because this was one of the kind of dates you get cleaned up for. One like that FarmersOnly.com type shit, where you, uh, bathing's not an option here. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, I stopped getting gas on my way to her house, and, uh, and I was about half starved to death, so I grabbed a piece of pizza to eat along the way, and, and uh, as I was headed that direction, I threw by that pizza, a piece fell down my shirt. And I reached down there, of course, like I said, it's one of them fancy days, I didn't have my damn shirt tucked in, so as I reached in the ground, it just kept falling further, and I held it, I couldn't reach it no more, it was down by my pants. And I don't know if any of you guys have ever done that before where you uh, stand up and try to shake it in your pants and you get it down your pant leg and just shake it out. Well, when I got to her house, I stand on the front porch and that's exactly what I did when I came that door. But I was standing there and shaking, shaking my pant leg off trying to get that out of my pants. And she opened the door about that time with the weirdest look. She said, what the hell are you doing? I said, well... There's a moment when uh, we start to say something and our words go through a thought process so that maybe we say these words normal. Well, these words bypassed all that thought process and shit came out abnormal. As soon as I opened my mouth, the words came out. Uh, I got a big piece of meat in my pants and I can't get some bitch out. <laughs> we, we didn't make it to the movies that night. <laughs> We've been married 30 years now. <laughs> we got uh, we got two uh, two good kids out of this marriage, and uh, we also do a lot of things to kind of keep our marriage spiced up after 30 years together. Can can be kind of boring. For example, uh, the other night, uh, she came home. She got home kind of late. She walked in the house and she hollered for me. She said, "Hey, come out here in the living room." I walked out in the living room. And she said. Uh, I want you to unzip my dress. And I did. I unzipped her dress and I let it fall to the floor. She said, now, unless my bra and my garters. And I did, and they fell to the floor as well. And uh, she said, now, I want you to rip off my crossroads panties. And I did. I ripped off her crossroads panties and they fell to the floor. She held me close, real close, and she whispered in my ear. She said, don't ever wear my fucking good stuff again. <laughs> out of that 30 years, we do got a couple good kids uh, out in California, and I got two others that live with us here. Uh, they didn't make it tonight, so I can talk a little bit about them. But uh, my boy, my boy on his uh, 25th birthday, had all his friends over, and we had a big, uh, big get together in the kitchen. And, chatting and talking and I mean, we was getting pretty drunk and having a good time and I, I remember toasting my boy and I said uh, congratulations son it's been 25 years uh, and uh, I just want you to know that uh, this little get there and act reminds me of something I have never that I haven't had in about 25 years and he's kind of sarcastic like me 
He says, what's that, old man? A heart on? And all his buddies started laughing at me. Don't fuck me, old man. His buddy was standing there laughing at me. And I said, no, <laughs> son. My dick in a baby's ass. <laughs> you get, get, get that? <laughs> I, I looked at him in the face and said, this joke would end in a lot different, boy. If you'd already made that turn. <laughs> you guys look like you don't understand that one. <laughs> this joke would end in my dick in a baby's mouth. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, I'll tell you what, I love modern technology. These, uh, these smartphones are great. And uh, yeah, it's amazing uh, how addictive they are. You walk down the street, you can be driving down the street, and you see people walking like zombies, just glued to their phone everywhere they go. And I, I couldn't help but laugh. I, I, I saw something on the news the other morning, and I thought this was so funny. I, I fell off the couch laughing at this. I don't know if you all will find this funny, but uh, apparently this lady was so engrossed in whatever she was looking at on this smartphone that she walked into a fucking train. A train. A moving train. Not, not a little toy train in her, in her living room, but a, uh, an actual moving train. I can hear them damn things when I'm in my car driving down the road, and I know to stop. And she didn't have enough fucking sense to stop for a moving train. Ran into it. She's okay. I, I mean, she was going to be all right. She was in uh, bad condition, but uh, she was close. She was in the hospital and going to make it. The only thing I think is she must be playing that damn candy for us, huh? I know that's an addictive, addictive game. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love reading, uh, I love reading the uh, articles on uh, Facebook, some of the topics in there. And it's amazing how many people out there are uh, are uh, uh, dumb enough to to help us create jokes. And uh, I, I saw an article on there uh, the other day that uh, was pretty cool, and uh, I could relate to it because I grew up in the '70s and I did a lot of drugs. Did a lot of drugs. I, there ain't other needles. There ain't nothing I didn't do. And it's caused a lot of my memory loss. That's what makes me suck as a comic, because I have to really sit there and think about what I'm going to say next sometimes. But uh, I saw this article, and it was about rosemary. It said rosemary, sniffing rosemary every day will increase your memory by 40%. I tried it. I got punched in the face. That didn't work. But then I found out there's actually an herb that's called rosemary. That's what they were talking about. So I went and got some. And after about the third day, I found out that that shit does work. It really does work. After three days of sniffing that shit, I realized that uh, about a year ago, I was supposed to pick my wife up at the airport. Hope she's not pissed. <laughs> that would explain why. All them damn Cinnabon charges were on my credit card from there. One other topic that, uh, when I first walked in, first, uh, first thing that went through my mind was I, I walked by a Jew and an Asian that was sitting here when I first came in. And, and that in itself almost sounded like a joke, huh? <laughs> the beginning of one anyways. But... Uh, <laughs> I, uh, uh, I thought it was kind of funny, this other topic that I've seen was uh, based on uh, a survey that was done on over 15,500 people, and uh, it was about penis size. And guys, I, I, I want you to pay attention to this because this is going to make you feel a lot better about yourself. Out of 15,500 guys, that they went around. They didn't pick one ethnicity, one country. They went to different countries, and out of 15,500 guys, they uh, determined that uh, the average penis size, guys, is only 5.1 inches. So I know a lot of you are smiling now, thinking, damn, I'm almost there <laughs> on a good day. <laughs> but uh, that's the honest God truth. And, uh, <laughs> As I walked in, I saw that poor Asian guy sitting there, and I was thinking, damn, 
I think each one of us need to get up and thank him because he's the one that helped Lord that make us feel better about ourselves. <laughs> Mike Saber, he's, uh, he's Jewish. I don't like to pick on Jewish people too much. But there was an article that I read about the Jewish people the other day, and uh, I thought this was pretty interesting. It was, it was pertaining to the old extreme Jews. And uh, the fact that they finally came out with a video that uh, was a documentary that talked about masturbation, that they're finally becoming accepting to masturbation. And uh, the first thing I put through my mind when I read, when I first read that article is, God damn, there's got to be a lot of fucking sheep in Israel happy about this. <laughs> there was another thought that went through my mind too. I pictured this poor, this poor man, Jewish man, sitting at the table with 11 kids when he read that article and looked over the newspaper and his kids said, you, you kids better feel real lucky today because if I had found this out before you all were born, <laughs> Your sheep would have been shot all over the fucking desert sand there. Have you ever, ever dated, it be a girl or a guy, dated a woman with the same name as her mom or dad or, or a guy? Has anybody ever dated anybody with the same name as her mom or dad? That would be a weird fucking situation, wouldn't it? Can you imagine your wife's name's Becky one night, you're laying in bed, and you're looking at Becky, and you're going at it. Becky, come on, Becky, oh yeah. Come on, Becky. That's what I thought. Come on, Becky, come. Come on, Becky, come. Oh yeah, come on, Mom. Come on. Oh, fuck. That's a movie ruiner, wouldn't it? Hey. That'd just stop you dead in your tracks, wouldn't it? She had to go live. You might as well just go make a fucking sandwich and go back to bed. <laughs> or have her go make a sandwich, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that was definitely kind of in the night there. <laughs> but uh, I short the set because it was getting so late. Uh, you know, I tell you what, I really enjoyed being up here just listening to uh, Mr. Sievert. Uh, I mean, that was, uh, he kept me rolling here. Um, I, I had a, quite a bit more I was going to add to this whole picture, but uh, there is a. Uh, um, uh, it, it, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this guy short. But there is something I need to do. It is getting late. I want to take my old lady home. And uh, we talked about this earlier. I'm going to rip her panties off when we get home. Those son of bitches are really cramping my ass here. I just can't stand them no more. So, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys, uh, if, if you're going to drive home, you've been drinking, uh, stay on the main roads. Don't take the back roads. Cops, uh, <laughs> cops are watching the back roads. Uh, so uh, you guys uh, be careful, and uh, you guys have a good night, and uh, thanks for coming out. I uh, hope you guys and those that are left, I uh, hope everybody enjoyed the talks that were here tonight. And uh, look forward to uh, another bigger show coming up pretty soon. I'm not sure when, but uh, we've got another location also set up for a bigger place. And uh, you guys all have a great night. Thanks for coming out.